Hey, what's up? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Someone the other day came up to me asking me the question if it was possible to trigger sidechain with MIDI. So, we're going to look into this today on how to trigger sidechain with VST instruments in Cubase 9.5. So now before we jump in, just make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And again, like and share this video. That helps me a lot. All right, so let's jump in Cubase. Okay, now I'm gonna use part of my intro music for this one. Uh, first, I have drums and bass, okay? So my goal here is to, uh, to make the kick drum trigger a compressor uh, on the bass channel, okay? Now the drums are programmed in MIDI and I'm using battery as a VSTi. And when I'm saying VSTi, I'm referring to a virtual instrument. So first, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna make sure I have my compressor as an insert on my bass channel, okay? And I'm gonna make sure the sidechain option on top here is activated. Now for this one, I'm gonna be using the compressor, the stuck plugin compressor out of Cubase. All right, so I'm gonna close this window and then I'm gonna use the kick drum to trigger the compressor, okay? Uh, now to do so, um, I'm using a virtual instrument. So uh, right now at the moment, everything is going out in stereo. Um, on a stereo output, okay? So what I need to do is to, um, uh, to route my kick drum to its own channel. If I go on the right side, on the right zone of my window right here, I have battery four loaded as a VSTi. And uh, the thing is with MIDI is MIDI notes cannot by themselves trigger the sidechain, okay? It's going to be triggered by the audio coming out of the virtual instrument. And by default, the virtual instrument will come um, with a stereo output, but a lot of them will have several outputs available, okay? So if I go on the right side of my uh, VSTi, okay, right in my, uh, in my right zone on the VSTi tab, um, I'm just gonna click on that input and output option and I'm gonna click on activate outputs. This will bring me that window, which will show me how many outputs I have available at the moment with this VSTi. Um, now I'm gonna activate um, a second um, stereo output, okay? Cause the one by default is already activated. So I'm gonna activate a second one. And now on my mix console, I have a second, um, a second channel, okay, available for this VSTi. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up battery, uh, look at the kick, all right, right click on that, um, that pad, uh, go to output and then direct out and send that signal to stereo three and four, which is this channel. So if I click on play, Okay, now my kick is on its own channel. Now this is gonna be easier to trigger the, uh, the sidechain compressor. I'm gonna click on the channel settings. I'm gonna go into sans and uh, select base two, okay, which is the, uh, the sidechain compressor that I activated. I'm gonna activate that send and there you go. Okay, I'm just gonna go and open my compressor. All right, so now you see that the compressor is working, okay? Every time the kick plays, um, it kicks in the compressor. If I mute the, uh, the kick drum, the compressor will not work, okay? So it's about the same way as we do it in audio, okay? Let me give you another example. All right, so now on this example, I have a pad right here. And now I wanna add a bit of movement to this pad, okay? So uh, what I did, if I go to my project window, um, I added a, uh, I call it the invisible kick, okay? It's a uh, groove agent kick drum. I love to use a kick drum for this, but it doesn't matter which uh, instrument you use. If I listen to that kick drum, this is what I get. 
Okay, now I don't want to hear that drum. I just want to use it to trigger the side chain that I'm going to insert on the pad so I can add movement to the pad sound. Okay, so I'm going to go on my mix console and right on top, okay, um, I'm going to route this to no bus. Okay, so the output of that instrument is going to be routed to no bus so I don't hear it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate a compressor on the pad channel. I'm going to use the channel strip for this one. So I'm going to activate the standard compressor off the channel strip. I'm going to make sure my side chain option is activated and I'm going to make sure the auto makeup is off. Okay. Um, and same goes for uh, my, uh, the other example I did earlier with the regular compressor. Just make sure that the auto makeup is off. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go on my groove agent kick drum and send it to the strip two standard compressor, which is the side chain uh, compressor off the channel strip. And this is what I'm going to get. Okay, it adds a bit of movement and uh, it's, it sounds pretty good actually. And again, by muting uh, my, uh, my invisible kick, my compressor will stop working. All right, guys, so this is it for today. I hope that helps. And again, if you have any questions or comments on this, please leave everything down below. And don't forget to share and to like this video. And again, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, see you.